guys, it's Lori. Quick check-in for VLCD number eight. Yesterday's food was the same as the day before. So I didn't take a clip of it. It was exactly the same thing, the chicken and the salad, and that was it. I actually did snack on some of that crispy cauliflower later on in the evening. Didn't eat very much of it. So I'm getting a lot better at just a few bites of something and I'm good. So that's part of what this good around is good for is kind of resetting my mentality that I don't need to eat a half a bag of chips to be satisfied and feel like, you know, stuffed and super full afterwards. Just a few bites of something is enough. But I got up this morning and I was down one pound. So I was super happy to see that. So that means that week one is in the books and the total for week one is 7.6 pounds down which is an average of a pound a day. So I know that my numbers are gonna get smaller. I might have some zeros here and there. You know, I say this every time I do a round and I'm never surprised by it. It's always fine because in the end, it's gonna work out to be a half a pound a day for me. I'm not really sure. I haven't been giving updates on John because I'm really not sure where he is right now on his round, but I know he's doing well too. Um, I know a couple days ago he had a three pound drop. It's like, what? <laughs> He had a big whoosh. But anyway, yeah, so that's going to be it for my check-in today. I'm going to stop at Walmart and grab some Dunkin' Ice coffee. And I'm going to grab some more of that salad mix because that is really hitting the spot. And um, I didn't think I would like it with ranch dressing on it. But I only use a tiny bit of dressing and I stir it in really good. So, you know, anyway, it is a lot better with the sweet onion dressing. But... <laughs> I'll go for the ranch for now, I guess. So, what else am I going to get from Walmart? I can't remember. Let me look. I think I have it on my card. Oh, I was going to pick up some more Mountain Dew for Chase. That's what it was. Yeah, grab him some Mountain Dew. Other than that, that's it for today. So, yeah. Hey, guys, it's Lori, and today is VLCD number nine, I think. <laughs> if that's wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But, anyway... Just doing a quick check-in. If you can see the carrier back here, I do have a cat with me. I'll talk about that in a minute. First, let's do the check-in. Here's what I had to eat for dinner last night. Very low calorie, day number eight, and dinner is cooking right now. Just cooking it till the celery is tender. This is the leftover, the remainder of the chicken that was left on the rotisserie chicken that we got the other day. And I cut up a bunch of celery and put in there. There's some salt and pepper and Old Bay seasoning and a container of chicken broth. Here it is, and it is actually very satisfying. So this is gonna make a great dinner tonight, as soon as it cools off, because it is boiling hot right now. But the dog and the cats are happy because they got all the chicken skinned from the rotisserie chicken because we can't have that right now. So they got all the chicken skin, and Hayden's happy because he gets the chicken legs. So there you go, everybody's happy. And that was really good, really good. And uh, this morning I got up and I was up 0.2. I was up, so anyway, that's fine. I've been expecting that to happen because my average is a pound a day. Maybe not quite now, but I don't know. I'd have to figure it out again, but I was averaging one pound a day. For women, it should end up being half pound a day. So that means I'm gonna have some small numbers maybe even a little gain here and there, but that's just normal. I still feel good. I still feel like everything's working just fine. I'm still doing everything right. So it's all good. It's just part of the process. As far as the cat back here, this is Lucifer that I have back here. And it's my mother, one of my mother, one of my mother-in-law's three cats. And he's not doing very well. He's not breathing right. Kind of walking around with his mouth hanging open, laying down and just laying there with his mouth hanging open, trying to breathe. And you can tell, you can hear him wheezing. And so I called the vet and I said, bring him right over. So, and here I sit. So I'm gonna go get him to the vet and get him taken care of. Guys, it's Lori again. It is the next day now. So I'm gonna give you a quick update on Lucifer. He's doing a lot better. He stayed at the vet yesterday until 7 p.m. He was in an oxygen cage all day. And my brother-in-law went over and picked him up and took him back home to my mother-in-law's house. And he came home with some meds. So I said that I would go ahead and give him his meds. And he has to have them in the morning and again in the evening, about 12 hours apart. So the vet did ask me if he goes home with meds, uh, do you want pills or liquid? I said, definitely liquid. Let's do liquid. So I figured I could just take a little spoon of wet cat food, put some on there, and he would just chow it right down. Nah, he didn't want anything to do with it. So 
like, okay, I guess we'll do it the hard way. So I put it out. It's got one of those dosing syringes. So I put another dose in one of those syringes, grabbed him by the scruff and it wasn't a problem. <laughs> he took it. He acted like he was kind of, kind of going to choke on it a little bit at first. And I was like, ah, but now I thought, ah, he'll be all right. Just swallow it. <laughs> and he was, he was fine. He choked it down and he is looking a lot better than he did yesterday. They think it might be asthma possibly, or it could possibly be something heart related. They're not a hundred percent sure, but they did warn us that if it is heart related, the meds could possibly make him worse. But right now he's looking a lot better. But he did just have his first dose of meds. I'm not sure. Since my brother-in-law picked him up, I don't know if they gave him a dose of meds last night. I assume they did. But like I said, I really don't know. But he's going to be on the meds long term. They did say that he could possibly be weaned off of them at some time, at some point. We don't really know. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But I'm only going to have to do the meds for a couple of days. And my sister-in-law is supposed to come and pick him up over the weekend and take him home with her. Because she actually is his... He actually is her cat. So... But she lived with my in-laws for a while and he was there and when she moved out she left him there so um i'm not i don't mean that to sound like she abandoned him because she really didn't she just she just didn't take him with her and so yeah anyway she's gonna come get him this weekend so she can take care of him but other than that he is doing a lot better after having been at the vet yesterday i feel like i just want to give everybody a little word of caution if you're a cat owner the vet said, the doctor said, if you ever have a cat that is mouth breathing, that is never a good sign. Get him to a vet ASAP. Just wanted to mention that real quick. On a brighter note, we had a rainstorm last evening, early in the evening, and we got a rainbow and it was beautiful. So I wanted to share that with you real quick. So let's get on with the HCG update. Today is VLCD number 10. So let's see if I can get a thumbnail. Okay. I might be able to get something out of that. I did a few different poses. We'll see what happens. Anyway, <laughs> VLCD number 10. This is yesterday's food. Here's dinner on very low calorie day number nine. And it's some London broil that I cooked in the crock pot all day. And it's on top of a bit of cabbage. I'm gonna grab a fork here real quick. This is just coleslaw mix that I cooked up. So it's fried cabbage, but it's made with coleslaw mix. So good stuff. It was delicious. It was so good. It really was. I could eat that anytime. And John said the same. He said it was really good. So got up this morning and I was down 0.4. So with yesterday's little gain and then today's 0.4 loss, you know, it's not too much different than it was a couple days ago, but I expect that to happen now because I'm still at, if I average it out, I'm very close to that one pound a day mark still. So we'll see what happens on day 10. I, you know, it's going to start slowing down, but anyway, yeah, I can still feel it doing its thing. I'm feeling so much better, so much better, really. I mean, I, I don't have the heartburn even. <laughs> I'm not even getting the heartburn anymore. So yeah, because I was getting heartburn every day. I would take something for it and it would kind of go away a little bit. And it's like, oh God, this is awful. Why am I doing this to myself? But anyway, I am feeling so much better, more energy, you know, everything. And my clothes are already starting to fit better. So that's nice too. That's really nice. These new shorts I bought, hopefully, I'm hoping that pretty soon they're going to be too big and I won't be able to wear them at all. So <laughs> that's the reason I only bought two pairs. But anyway, all right. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.